Hey friends, it's Timothy Curver here at General RV located in Westchester, Pennsylvania. And I'm super excited to be doing a quick walk around for you on a brand new 2024. This is the Thor Sanctuary 19P. This category is just exploding. People want to be mean and lean and traveling around in these smaller conversion vans or B-Class. This is on the Mercedes chassis, as you can see here, done in this beautiful charcoal color. If you look at the very top there, it does have um, a bar, a light bar that lights up your area so that if you're gonna go off-roading, hunting, really kind of whatever you're, do you're into, it'll give you the light to do that. So as we come down on the passenger side of the unit, you see they put this beautiful running board here, which gives you access to get inside of the vehicle with no problem. This does have the reliable system. If you didn't want to have a generator, this is the reliable system. So you have two alternators. One is on the vehicle and one is in the back and that keeps all of your lithium batteries charged so that you can um, boondock or be off the grid for a little bit of time for you. And what'll happen is if your battery level starts to decrease, that second alternator will start the motor and it'll give you a charge it back up. So it's a very, very smart um, system and people are really, really liking it. We do have an awning, it's called the Crown. It does have an LED light in it. And this thing will extend about eight to 10 feet out. And it's also a wind sensor. So if it starts to get too windy, it'll automatically retract for you. So it would not be lost. In this corner here, we do have two power cords. So if you wanted to have a Bluetooth speaker out here, or just want to watch TV or just anything you might need that power for, right here, that's where you would just connect that on there. Right next to it is a little clamp. This clamp is if you also want it to support that awning. As we go into the back of the unit, what's really nice about this is if you're into biking, um, they offer you a, a two bike rack. I believe this holds 70 pounds. Uh, this is by the Thule Company. This opened up and you can actually just put the two bikes there. You also have a rear camera too. So the moment you put your vehicle in reverse, It'll shine down here and you'll be able to see what's behind you. So if you're towing another vehicle or if you just want to see what's behind you, that camera will give you that visibility to that from behind. You also have a receiver down here um, that if you want to tow a little vehicle or a little trailer, I believe you're at 4,000 pounds uh, that you can tow with that receiver down there. And it also has on the left side a seven pin and that seven pin will give you uh, power to the back of your vehicle. So it'll be your brakes and all of your running lights for you. So let's go to the driver's side of the unit. When Mercedes builds on these, they also build on the passenger chassis. So if you notice here, um, there's a window. There's also one on the other side. So when they build on these chassis, it has a better ride, a better suspension, just like it would be a, on a passenger vehicle. Down here is the Truma water system. So this is a tankless water system and it's endless hot water. So it's really, really a nice feature to have. You're seeing more and more of this. What is this? No, it's not a TV. This here is um, if you ever travel in Europe or abroad, most of the RVs are manufactured like this. And what this is, is this is your black tank cassette. So this rolls out here. Think of it as kind of like a little suitcase. And it has a little handle here. This pulls this up here. And you would just roll this over to the local um, toilet or any facility that you can dump it in. This would go down here like this. This is how this would work. Basically, this slides and closes. Once it comes out of the track, it safely locks. This spins around and that locks it. Now it's unlocked. So I would uncap this and just pour this directly into the toilet or any facility that would allow that. Spin this over and it locks it in place again. This just simply goes right in here and it opens up from the inside. No mess, very simple. People overthink it, I like it. It's very simple and very um, user friendly. Spray port, basically what this is, gives you cold water only, not warm, just cold water. And it's a little, you ever see those little quirky screw type of hoses? That's what would connect here. And you could rinse anything spilled, clean off your pets, really kind of whatever you need. This gives us light. If you pull into a campground later in the evening, this will just illuminate this area so we can see what we're doing with our hookup. This is your city fill. If you want the water to go through your unit, this is where you would connect that. If you wanted some more solar power, this unit does come with a solar on the roof, but if you wanted an additional one, say for instance, we're gonna tuck this in the woods and it's a real cozy little area, but you wanna capture some sun, you would get your uh, ZAMP solar panel connected here. Usually it comes about 25 or 50 foot cord and you would just capture that in the sun and it'll trickle your batteries that you have there. So it just helps the process along for you. Cable, if you go to a unit, a campground, they offer you cable, you would just connect your cable to the post and connect it in there and it'll work on the TV inside. This is gonna be a 30 amp coach. So this will give you the power. Years ago, 
There used to be a little box in there and you would throw your cord in there. They keep it simple. Now, basically you lift this up here, you connect it and you screw it onto one end like a cap. And then you have your other ends there. So it's a loose extension cord. Think of it like that. So we're gonna travel. We're gonna to go to California, somewhere very, very far. We're gonna put some water into our tanks so as we travel, we can flush our toilet, we can wash our hands. This is where you would put that water, just from your garden hose, just fill it in there. Um, and that'll give you the water that you would need to be able to travel. There's a sewer hose. So that's where you can put your stinky slinky as you're traveling. So it's not gonna be inside the vehicle. You won't be able to smell it. It's just gonna travel there nicely, discreet, hidden. <laughs> no one touch it, it's in there. This is your side, driver's side door. With this being a Mercedes product, this is where you would fill up your diesel. So you don't have to worry about anybody taking it. Um, you would just fill up your diesel right there, close this, and when this door closes, very nicely discreet. You don't even know that your fuel tank is there. I wanted to touch on this real quickly for you because when you're in a little B class like this, every inch needs to serve as a certain function. So what they've done with this, this is an electric coach. There is no propane um, on this coach. So this is all electric. This little area right here is like a little table. This pulls down and as you can see, it's magnetic. This is the outside speaker system. So it's a JBL Bluetooth speaker. But over here on my left, on top of this counter is an electric cooktop. And as you can see it right there, it's induction. So this is just to be, we could take it anywhere. So it's designed to kind of go right here if you wanted to. You can cook out here and there's a plug right here on the side and there's also USB. So we can simply cook out here or I can put it up, up here on the counter and use it there also. Down below is a little area if you want to keep your shoes out put your shoes right there. There's also this bungee cord here that you can just wrap all of your shoes, umbrella, just anything you want to leave on the outside of your unit. Okay, let's go inside. We do have a sink here. This sink will offer you hot and cold running water. And I believe there is a protective on top of here, which expands your kitchen countertop for you. This is the BM Pro system. This controls this whole coach. Up on the top is your Truma system. This will allow you to control the the temperature of that water that's coming in to the coach. It's right to my left here is a new refrigeration uh, that a lot of the manufacturers are starting to make. It's very fun because I'm left-handed and I can easily go to my left hand and open this up as you can see here. But if your spouse or significant other is right-handed, it also then comes on this side too. So you can access this refrigerator from either side. It's a lot of fun. Directly above it is a microwave. Above your head is a max air fan. Basically, this will just circulate the air through here. If it gets a little warm at night, you can just put that on, crack a window, and it gets really nice ventilation in here. Directly behind me is the shower area. You have a shower curtain, just like you'd have in your normal home. You have a medicine cabinet directly above. So this little thing comes down, and you would have hot and cold running water. It would go here, and then you just lift it up, and it will just go right into that gray tank. You have a toilet here. You have everything you need. TP holder. And now these doors right here, I'm a bigger guy, but it goes flat while you're traveling, but I don't know if you can notice, but this slightly convex little area right here. So it allows you to lock from the inside and it bows it out so that you'd have a little bit more privacy and a little bit more space in there. As we go to the back area during the day, we could have it set up as you can see here very comfortably. We could have three, four of our friends sit here and we can easily have a conversation or if you need to work, if you're on the road, or if you just want to have a little gathering, it'd be easily set up like that. But in the evening, this will also go flat and make a complete bed here. A real nice takeaway about this coach here is all the storage. So we have storage all the way across. One, two, three, four, five closet space. Then we have a really nice good size one here. So even though it's a small compact area, you can easily travel for a long period of time and plenty of storage for you and your friends. It also has a television for entertainment. This reaches out like this and it can be spun all the way around to anywhere that you, you anywhere you're sitting for visibility. Um, in each window, I had talked to you a little bit about this being a passenger coach. What you'll do is you'll squeeze these little buttons together like this. And as you can see, it released the window that was flush. And then you would just slide this across. And then we have cross ventilation going with this coach. So even at night, it's, it's a really nice feature to have that. Then if you wanted to, privacy in the evening, you have these blackout shades on both sides here and it'll give you complete privacy. I like these shades because they have a memory built into them. They go up there really easy. Listen, I really appreciate you allowing me in your home today. 
If you want some more information, you would just go to generalrv.com for more information on this unit. Thank you so much.